Can SMIC lead Beijing's quest for semiconductor self-sufficiency? SMIC, China's chip manufacturing champion, is one of the top five chip manufacturers in the world. It's the youngest company among top five. Only Global Foundries is kind of younger than SMIC, as it was founded in 2009. But it was part of AMD, not a completely new company. How did SMIC manage to get to that point so quick and will it ever become a top chip maker in the world? Let's talk about SMIC. Here's how this video article is structured. Chapter 1. Let's start with US-China tech wars. Chapter 2. What do we know about SMIC and what is it to do with Taiwan? Chapter 3. SMIC and China's semiconductor self-sufficiency efforts. Chapter 4. SMIC found itself in between US and China. How is it affected by the US-China tech wars? Chapter 5. How SMIC is diversifying its business to cope with US sanctions. Chapter 6. Will SMIC ever become a top chip maker in the world? Before we continue, if you like what we talk about on this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we'll continue. Established just over two decades ago, Shanghai Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp. is considered the country's national champion in producing chips used in various electronic products from smartphones and computers to cars and mobile base stations. Semiconductor production is a priority in China's latest five-year plan as the world's second largest economy brace for a heightened tech war with the United States. China's output to integrated circuits reached a monthly record in July 2021 on the back of strong demand and the addition to new production capacity. SMIC is building a new wafer fab in Beijing, expected to start operations in 2024, while a new Shenzhen plant will begin production in 2022. The company is also investing in a new facility in the Shanghai Lingang area, a semiconductor industry cluster designated by the city government. Tapping experienced semiconductor talent from Taiwan, the mainland Chinese chip foundry has been able to quickly move up the technology ladder since it was established. However, SMIC's ability to close the technology gap with the chip foundry giant Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. TSMC has been stymied by US trade sanctions imposed because of its alleged ties to Chinese military, a charge the firm denies. As a result, SMIC is focusing on mature technology nodes, which are now in high demand. So what do we know about SMIC and what is it to do with Taiwan? SMIC was established in April 2000 by Richard Chang Rugin, who made a career of building new wafer fabs during two decades at US chip maker Texas Instruments. Many of SMIC's engineers as well as key senior managers were recruited from Taiwan, with TSMC being a primary target for talent. Chang stepped down as CEO of SMIC in November 2009, three days after the company settled a year-long lawsuit with TSMC, which had sued Chang's company for alleged theft of intellectual property by hiring former TSMC employees. Since 2017, SMIC has operated a shared senior management arrangement with Zhao Haijun and Liang Mongsong appointed co-CEOs in October in 2017. Zhao joined company in October 2010 with 28 years of experience in industry, while Liang came to SMIC with 35 years of experience including senior positions in research and development in TSMC until 2009. Another ex-TSMC executive was hired by SMIC in December 2020. Chiang Shangyi was appointed vice chairman after a 40-year career in the semiconductor industry, including as head of the TSMC's R&D team. SMIC's co-CEOs reportedly have different agendas. Liang backed an aggressive leading-edge strategy for SMIC, which put him at odds with Zhao, who preferred to develop commercially viable products using older technology. 
How does SMIC fit into China's self-sufficiency ambitions? As China's biggest and most advanced chipmaker SMIC is considered the country's national champion in Beijing's drive to establish self-sufficiency in semiconductors amid the U.S.-China tech war. Chip production is a priority in China's latest five-year plan, and the country braces for a heightened tech war with the United States. China's output of integrated circuits rose more than 41% year-on-year to 31.6 billion units in July 2021, a monthly record on the back of strong demand and the addition of new production capacity. SMIC's new Beijing plan, with a total investment of nearly 50 billion yuan, that is 7.7 billion US dollars, expected to start operations in 2024 with a monthly production capacity of 100,000 12-inch silicon wafers. Its new Shenzhen plant, meanwhile, will cover a land area equal to about five football fields and mainly produce display driver and power management chips using mature technologies, according to a document published by the government of Shenzhen's Pingshan district. SMIC derives more than half its wafer revenue from mainland China and Hong Kong, while smartphone chips are its biggest market, accounting for 44.4% of wafer revenue in 2021. SMIC generates the bulk of its sales from mature technology nodes, which accounted for 37.5% of its total in the first quarter of 2021. How has SMIC been affected by the US-China tech war? In October 2020, the U.S. Department of Commerce designated SMIC as a military end-user, restricting it from using U.S. technologies. Then in December in 2020, SMIC was added to the entity list on the grounds of U.S. national security and foreign policy interests. This further restricted the company from purchasing U.S. chip manufacturing equipment, requiring a license to be issued before shipments can be made. The U.S. Commerce Department has said it will apply Presumption of denial for products required to produce chips at the 10 nanometer and below node. The restriction will hinder SMIC's ability to import extreme ultraviolet EUV scanners sold by Dutch company ASML. Its fourth quarter results in year 2020 released in February 2021, SMIC reported that its share of wafer revenue from advanced 14 nanometer and 20 nanometer processing nodes fell by a large margin from the earlier July September 2022 quarter due to loss of a big customer believed to be Huawei Technologies, which is also subject to US trade sanctions. What is it doing to cope with US sanctions? U.S. trade restrictions imposed on SMIC for its alleged links to the Chinese military, a charge it denies, continue to cloud its prospects for moving up the technology ladder. All the recent export license approvals show that the Chinese company has not been completely cut off from U.S. technology. From November 2020 to April 2021, suppliers to SMIC received 188 licenses worth $42 billion to sell products to the Chinese foundry, citing documents obtained from the U.S. Congress. In March 2021, SMIC secured supplies of deep ultraviolet lithography systems from Dutch firm ASML in an amended purchase agreement worth $1.2 billion, which could help ensure the Chinese firm's capacity expansion for more mature nodes. Company Vice Chairman Chiang Shangyi believes SMIC should focus on developing advanced packaging technologies that can cram more circuits into smaller packages to overcome its weakness in nanometer process nodes. In chip packaging, SMIC has previously invested in specialist companies in this field. It holds 12.86% equity in China's GSET Group, the third largest IC packaging and testing company after ASE of Taiwan and Amcor of South Korea. Will SMIC ever be a world leader in chip making? SMIC ranks number 5 among the top 10 foundries with a market share of 5% behind TSMC, Samsung, United Electronic Corp, Global Foundries, according to Taiwan-based market research firm Trendforce. However, with first quarter revenue of just over $1 billion, SMIC is dwarfed by number one player TSMC, which reported first quarter revenue of $12.9 billion. SMIC's lack of access to EU technology will mean it cannot produce more advanced chips, hindering its attempts to catch up to TSMC in terms of technology development. However, mature technology nodes from 350 nm to 28 nm are what most Chinese semiconductor design companies need, especially those designing chips for Internet of Things, IoT, and car applications. 
all three of these new fabs that SMIC is building in Beijing, Shanghai and Shenzhen are focused on the mature 28nm technology node. 